Let's talk about this. This is one of the funniest f stories I have seen. So I this slipped through the cracks for me. I didn't hear about this at all because like, understandably, it got no coverage whatsoever on mainstream news, on like the liberal side of mainstream news. So this is the funniest Hasanabi head. Sam Brinton is an American nuclear engineer and an LGBTQ activist and a Hasanabi head, as I found out when I looked at their, when I looked at their, their personal account. That's true. I, that is literally not even a, it's not even a joke. So here, we'll just, we'll get started here. So Samuel Otis Brinton, born 1986 or 1987. I don't know what that is. I don't know why it's like that. How do you get to have two birthdays? Okay. Is an American nuclear engineer and an LGBTQ activist. They... Uh, they then pronounce. They served as the deputy assi deputy assistant secretary of spent fuel and waste disposition in the office of nuclear energy from June to December 2022. Now Sam Brinton is no longer employed by the office of nuclear engineer uh, uh, nuclear energy. Sorry, because they have a passion. Okay, and that passion is stealing luggage. That's right. They love crime. They love doing crime. <laughs> But the funniest crime, like definitely the worst type too, because it's like, it is such an inconveniencing type of crime. Because if you've ever flown and your luggage has like gotten lost or whatever, it's just one of the worst things. You're just like, oh fuck, man. It's like, like at least if you're at your house and someone breaks into your car or something like, you know, that shit sucks, but you're not as like, um, I guess anchored. Like you're still at your house. You know what I mean? You still have all your shit for the most part. Like, but when you lose your, when you lose your luggage, even you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? There's like personal shit in there and it's not going to be, I'm not gonna be able to like immediately replace it. Right? So Brinton was raised in Perry, Iowa and was the child of two Southern Baptist missionaries. Brinton came out as bisexual to their parents. Parents in the early 2000s, according to Brinton, their parents disapproved of Brinton's attraction to a male friend from school and sent the then middle school to student to conversion therapy. I'm going to skip all that stuff. So originally, people were very upset at the Biden administration for hiring Samuel Brinton because Samuel Brinton goes by they, them pronouns. They are non-binary, right? And that, of course, was a big no-no for a lot of conservatives. But, you know, fuck them. Who cares, right? However, it's not the non-binary, non uh, non yeah, it's not the they themness of uh, Sam Brinton that was actually a problem for the libtards over in government. It's the fact that, like I said, Sam Brinton, a Hasanabi head, also loves stealing luggage. How do we find out? I believe they were caught originally stealing luggage and then it came out that they've been doing this for a minute this happened like a while back and it kind of like wasn't really covered all that much it wasn't really covered all that much in liberal media for obvious reasons but now there is actually a face to one of the victims of sam brinton okay a female tanzanian fashion designer based in houston alleged wednesday that clothing worn by former department of energy official sam brinton had been contained in her luggage that she reported missing in Washington, D.C. in 2018. Asya Comson, who has designed and handmade her own clothing line for years, said she recently saw a report that Brinton had been charged with stealing multiple pieces of luggage across the country and noticed that the former official appeared to be wearing her clothes in several photos. Comson said she had packed the same clothes in a bag that vanished on March 9th, 2018 at Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. <laughs> I saw the images. Those were my custom designs, which were lost in that bag in 2018. She told Fox News Digital in an interview. He wore my clothes, which was stolen. <laughs> she posted about it on Twitter. She's like, what the fuck? Ladies and it's... gentlemen, hold on to your luggage. Sticky finger Sammy is flying. Biden's old nuke guru flew back to Minneapolis today for a court date after snatching two grand worth of designer ladies' luggage. Mr. Brinton, do you still have a security clearance? Are you going to plead guilty today? Did you steal any luggage today? <laughs> Did you steal any luggage today? Who are you wearing? Why would you want some ladies' dirty clothes? Why are they dirty? Okay, calm down. Who the fuck is carrying dirty clothes around? You know what I mean? Well, actually, I guess they're going home, maybe, if they're going home. Someone said, who are you wearing? The looter was released without bail in order to not contact the victim. The judge referred to Biden's fired nuke official not as Mr. Brinton and not as Miss Brinton, 
but as Mix Brinton, since Sticky identifies as non-binary, whatever that means. Yeah, what, whatever. What does that mean? What, what, what does that mean, really? I mean, dude, come on. You know what that means, you fucking idiot. Sam tonight, Brinton faces up to five years in prison, and this isn't Sticky's first run-in with the law. In December, Fingers was in court for snatching more bags at a Las Vegas airport. By the way, you want to know that something funny about this? The reason why they gave them a name like sticky fingers, I think is a weird way to sidestep not misgendering them deliberately, okay? I was actually looking at this personally to try to figure out, like, they'll say shit like, what is non-binary, whatever. But like, they're not on fucking Ben Shapiro's broadcast, right? So Fox News, even when they're covering this shit, even when they're covering this shit, I was reading uh, uh, their, their uh, like, uh, the journalism side, and they don't actually misgender the person at all. They don't. They probably, I would love to find out if they because these places always have like a style guide like they they have uh rules that they need to abide by i'm certain that the non-binary designation is are probably already in the fox news style guide already they constantly say like whether brinton brinton why brinton is on leave they can't use they them pronouns like they're not using they them pronouns but it's clear that like instead of using pronouns they just keep saying brinton whether brinton continues to receive government paychecks if the duo is revoked brinton's security clearance real talk though now they're gonna put the trans and non-binary people are thieves talking point into the rotation first of all <laughs> that would be literally leveling down with respect to what they say about trans and non-binary people okay like that would be a nicer thing to to claim that they're doing regularly yeah instead of saying that every trans person every queer person is a pedophile groomer they also steal luggage like what do you mean so yeah they're stealing genders i don't know dude it's a common thing in journalistic writing to use the person's last name to just refer to them you know yeah but not throughout the entire fucking article sometimes they'll say he or her like sometimes they'll use pronouns look i mean they even mentioned this look like they're non-binary is it non-binary gender fluid person brinton has also posted to be member of so-called sister perpetual indulgence a drag queen group why do they actively try to discount being non-binary but still actively go through the effort not to misgender them it's just yet another indication that it's like not real that's what it is it's another indication that like the resentment and the attitude is just like pure inconvenience at most and it's not like real they're doing it because it's like they're doing it because they they almost have to I'm sure they personally have resentment too, but like it's performative. The outrage is always performative. It's Ben Shapiro going correctly gendering either, a trans woman and then anything. stopping oh, himself to then misgender. Anything. It's like that, you know what I mean? Because as human beings, no matter how fucking evil or awful you are, when someone says like, oh, well, my pronouns are they, them, like sometimes you fuck it up, which is understandable and everyone understands that you sometimes fuck it up, right? But like it takes effort to just straight up go out of your way to just like deliberately consistently misgender someone, you know? And I think they could get in trouble for it too. <laughs> I think Britain is innocent. Kleptomania is a disease and those dresses were gorgeous. It has nothing to do with me looking basically just like them when I had my head shaved pre-beard. <laughs> anyway, I do love this story though because it's so funny. Like it, it is, come on. This is the this is a fucking insane story. Former Department of Energy official Sam Britton could be in even more hot water regarding stolen bags. This time a fashion designer claims she saw Britton wearing an outfit from her missing suitcase. So this was the tweet that started it all. My name is Asya Kamsin, Tanzanian fashion designer based in Houston, Texas, USA. I lost my bag in 2018 in DCA. Recently, I heard the news on Fox News about Sam Brinton luggage issue. Surprisingly, I found his images wore my custom made outfits, which was lost in the bag on 2018. And then this boomer ass, like teary eyed laughing emoji. And what do you know? It's real. That happened. Drop all the pics you have of your clothes. Let's see if we can find Brinton in them. Lamau. So then she did. <laughs> I mean, homie was just using it. Like, that's crazy that they stole this luggage and then wore it out to red carpet public events. Is this yours? Yes, that is also my custom made and it was on the lost bag. Is this your necklace? <laughs> so, you know, I... <laughs> I had to do it to him. I had to cover the story. It is, it broke my fucking brain. It's been sitting inside of my mind. Check out the side-by-side -side Asya showed, which she says shows Brinton wearing one of her custom-made dresses a year after she claims her bags were swiped. Asya told Fox she was heading to DC to put her clothes on display for an event when the bag went missing and lost out on the opportunity as a result. She said her husband filed a police report at the time, but nothing was found. Asya says she filed another report this December after seeing pics of Brinton in what she claims is her outfit. 
and she says she was then contacted by the FBI the next month regarding the complaint, but says nothing much has happened since then. As you know, Brinton's been accused of stealing suitcases from airports on two separate occasions, getting charged in both Nevada and Minnesota. In This is a, a interstate criminal, okay? This is a federal crime. Brinton appeared in court last week in Minneapolis for one of the alleged incidents. Brinton could be looking at five years behind bars of convicted in Minnesota case and up to 10 for the one in Nevada. Why are they kind of serving in this pig? Yeah, I mean, they do look uh, fabulous uh, for sure, but uh, you know, ill-gotten gains. People were trying to defend them saying they bought, bought them at an unclaimed luggage thrift store even though they were caught doing this like seven different times. Uh, yeah, just a fun little story and uh, of course, as always, you know, this doesn't mean that like <laughs> NBs are out here fucking stealing shit. You know what I mean? That's not like a real thing. And one NB's crime does not reflect on the entirety of the non-binary population. I mean, after all, Ezra Miller comes to mind because, you know, when you think about NB's doing monstrous shit, you got Ezra Miller. And they're out here doing wild stuff. So 